Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we are discussing foreigners working illegally here in the Kingdom of Thailand. And the thing to take away from this video is Thai officials, both immigration officials, as well as the Labor Department, as well as just general law enforcement, take the issue of foreigners working illegally in Thailand very, very seriously. The Thai system has sometimes been described as being protectionist with respect to its indigenous labor force. I don't think that, that that adjective is too far off the mark. I think it implies a little bit more hostility than actually exists there. But Thailand takes protection of its internal, its internal economy really, really seriously. And it takes threats to its economy not lightly. They, they really don't mess around with that. So in a recent article from the Chiang Rai Times, that's ChiangRaiTimes.com, the article is titled, Over 1,800 Foreigners Arrested for Working Illegally in Thailand. Quoting directly, Employment Department Director General Petcharat Sin Oi said a total of 1,819 foreigners have been arrested throughout the country from last October until this month for allegedly doing jobs which are legally prohibited to them and only reserved for Thais. Of that total, 1,518 foreigners have already been deported to their home country. Quoting further, occupations legally denied to foreigners include food vendors, peddlers, employees at karaoke lounges, employees at traditional Thai massage par parlors, taxi motorcyclists, hairdressers, shoemakers, security guards, masons and carpenters. And that is not an exclusive list. I urge those who are reading the, or watching this video to go read that article. There is more in there. That list is not exclusive. There is a list of restricted occupations that goes even further. But the thing to take away from this video is I've sort of been waiting for the other shoe to drop on this. Immigration sort of was taking the lead with respect to enforcement and inspection activities in order to sort of ferret out folks that were operating in violation of Thai immigration law. And oftentimes, sort of inadvertently or tangentially, they would come upon people who were actually violating labor law, and those folks would sort of collaterally, you know, have problems. I thought some time ago, and I think moving forward, Thai labor is probably going to start taking, taking some taking a cue from immigration, if you will, taking a page from their book. And the Thai immigration or the Thai labor office is probably going to start, and we know this anecdotally, we've seen them do some inspections here in Bangkok. Clearly they're not messing around. They've, they've apprehended 1,800 people and deported 1,500 people in change over the past roughly less than a year. I think it's fairly safe to presume that this will continue and if anything, and if anything can be learned from the way that immigration has evolved in their activities low these past 18 to 24 months, I think it's fairly safe to presume that work permit, or I should say labor department, will become more assiduous in determining whether or not individuals have a work permit who are working in Thailand. So exactly how this plays out remains to be seen, but I think it's fairly safe to presume, especially in light of the past that we've seen with Thai immigration that labor department inspections and enforcement and scrutiny may increase as time goes on. We hope you found this video insightful. For those of you who are interested, we're trying to make videos to provide up-to-date information as soon as this information comes out. And for that reason, it may be a good idea to go ahead and click the bell button, the bell icon below to go ahead and be updated as these videos come out as you can go ahead and be apprised of the legal situation as it evolves.